Happy Friday, Fest Flyers! My name is Caitlin, and welcome back to Festflix Fridays. Today is January 15th, 2021, which happens to be National Bagel and Strawberry Ice Cream Day. That's all for me, but now here's some info about River Week. Welcome back to another beautiful day of a Festflix weather report with your weather reporter, Celeste. As we'll be in the high 40s to 70s this week, how about we see the weather in Seattle? As it is very cold in Seattle, we see there is a high chance of raining this Saturday and the weather is staying in between it the 40s to 50s with not much wind coming in but if you're thinking about heading to over to Seattle bring yourself a jacket because it might end up snowing next week as much as we wish we could get some rainy and white days in Las Vegas we will be receiving some wind and chilliness all this week and weekend thanks for watching this week's best Blake's weather report with your weather report is Celeste. I will see you guys next week. Have a good day, Fessars. Now on with my lean. Thank you, Celeste, for that outstanding weather report. Good morning, Fessars, and welcome back to another sports report. To start off, let's talk about the NFL. This Saturday, there will be two games. The first game is the Los Angeles Rams against the Green Bay Packers. This game starts at 1.35 p.m. and you can watch it live on NFL. The last game of Saturday will be the Baltimore Ravens versus the Buffalo Bills. You can watch it live on NFL at 5.15 p.m. Now let's talk about Sunday. The first game will be the Cleveland Browns versus the Kansas City Chiefs. You can watch it live on NFL at 12.05 p.m. The last game of the divisional rounds will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the New Orleans Saints. The game begins at 3.40 p.m. and you can watch it live on NFL. Now let's talk about a strange sport. This week's strange sport is called chess boxing. This sport combines a thinking sport and a fighting sport. The game alternates during rounds of boxing and chess. There are a few ways of winning. One way by winning is by a knockout or a technical knockout. You can win by checkmate or lose by time control. You can lose by disqualification or by resignation. Chess boxers are classified by their weight classes. The major organization for this sport is called the World Chess Boxing Organization. Would you ever play this sport? That's it for the sports support this week. As always, have a good Friday, and I'll see you next week. Now to Leah with Fab Five. Thank you for that sports report, Mylene. Hey Flyers, and welcome back to another edition of Fab Five with Leah. This week, we actually have one of my favorite celebrities at the moment, Emma Watson. So let's get right into it. First of all, it's that she almost quit acting altogether in 2009, but she didn't let the hate get to her. So she's still going to this day. 
Number two is at age 24, she became a UN Goodwill Ambassador. Three is that she started a book club in 2016 called Our Shared Shelf. Number four is that she played Belle in Beauty and the Beast and Hermione Granger in Harry Potter. Lastly, but not least, is that in between Harry Potter movies, she modeled. That's it for this week. Make sure to stay tuned each week to learn more about your favorite celebrities inside and out of us. Now... What's up, Fessler's? I hope all of you have your New Year's resolutions and trying to achieve them. But today, I'm here to talk to you about the top five most common resolutions that people try to achieve over the New Year. Starting with number one, extra exercise. Number two, losing weight. Number three, getting organized. Number four, save money, it's not just spare mess. And number five, good grades. That is it for What's Up Fest. I hope all of you enjoy your weekend and achieve your goals. I will see you next time on Festflix. Fest Flyers, this is your proud principal, Mr. West, with a few words of wisdom. Stop a minute and think about the one person in your life with the greatest smile. I'll give you a second. It can't be me. I don't have a great smile. I have a great laugh, I think, but I don't have a great smile. How do you feel when that person smiles at you? Do you feel good just thinking about it? I bet you, you just smiled thinking about that person smiling. Listen to these words of an anonymous author. A smile costs nothing, but gives much. It enriches those who receive it without making poorer those who give. It takes but a moment, but the memory sometimes lasts forever. It brings rest to the weary, cheer to the discouraged, sunshine to the sad, and it is nature's best cure for trouble. Today, and always, let's try and be generous with our smiles and encourage one another. With something to think about, this is your proud principal, Mr. West. Let's make it a great day, or not. The choice is always yours. Oh, well, if it isn't Mr. Peanut again, <laughs> out you go. <laughs>